Hello, welcome back to Chow. What I'm going to cover today is a requested video tutorial. That's what I do here. You ask Chow, we deliver. So today I am going to share with you my recipe for making a delicious white chocolate mocha chino. So how is it different from dark chocolate or regular mocha? This time, instead of using regular chocolate or dark chocolate, we are going to use white chocolate. And for my white chocolate, I am going to use a ready-made store-bought white chocolate. This is using white chocolate from Da Vinci. And for this, I am going to make a 22 ounces cup. And just to make it a little bit more decadent, I am going to put some sinkers and I'm going to use my brown sugar cognac pearl because I'm going to enjoy this after this video clip. So let's look at the ingredients first. We are of course going to need our coffee. And the recipe for 22 ounces mochaccino, I normally use two shots of espresso. Now if you don't have espresso machine, you can also use an equivalent shots, two shots or 60 ml of instant coffee. That means um, you can use one tablespoon of instant coffee dissolved in only two shots or 60 ml of hot water. Or if you're using a regular brewed coffee, the same way you can use coarse ground coffee, two scoops of coarse ground coffee in hot water and use your French press or use your tea stock strainer to come up with only 60 ml or two shots of coffee. But for this one, I have pulled my espresso shots. I've got two shots of espresso here using the espresso machine, beautiful. And I waited a little bit to make it um, colder because if I use very cold espresso into my blender, the effect is that the ice melts very quickly. If you're making frappuccino, my recommendation is you use cold brewed coffee. That's the perfect one. But if you're doing it rush, then you have no choice but to use freshly brewed espresso shots from your espresso machine. Just be prepared that your ice will melt very quickly. So how do you balance that? You put more ice into your blend. And so you will get a really nice and icy mochaccino. Let's look at the ingredients. So as I have said, we are going to use white chocolate. We're going to use our espresso or whatever coffee you have available. We are going to use a little bit of the condensed milk, sweetened condensed milk. Finally, the last ingredient is the frappe phase. This is just to make sure your drinks are stable and also it has a beautiful smell. So there is no separation from the ice and your ingredients. So the frappe base helps in that. So not to forget using a frappe base for all of your frappe drinks. So let's start by putting our ingredients in the blender. Two shots of very strong espresso. For this, I'm using sweetened condensed milk, just one tablespoon. This is just to make sure our drink is full bodied and at the same time, it reduces the total cost of your drink. So instead of putting a lot of stir pumps, you can cut costs and also make your drink equally delicious. So one tablespoon of sweetened condensed milk, one ounce or two tablespoons of fresh milk, one and a half pump. If you're using a pump, I don't have a pump for my chocolate sauce, but if you're using, if you're using a pump, it's about one and a half pump or 30, 45 ml of white chocolate. You really want the white chocolate, the taste of the white chocolate to come out in this mochaccino. And then finally, we're going to put our base, our crab base. You just two-third tablespoon or one tablespoon of the frappe base into the blender, one cup full of ice. And we're ready. I hope I don't forget anything. So I think I've got it all. The coffee, the white chocolate, our sweetened condensed milk and fresh milk, and the frappe base. So let's pop this in the blender. 
So blend for about 45 seconds. Wait. So while sweating, you can dance. Make sure you keep an eye on your blend. Top it up with white chocolate chips. Complete our white chocolate mochaccino. The color is lighter than a normal mochaccino because we use white chocolate. Now for those that are wondering how to make a delicious white chocolate mochaccino at lower cost, try this recipe. Now before you try this recipe, I will have to try this drink. So here comes our moment of truth. Okay, let me try it. I want to get the cognac pearls at the bottom. Mmm. Wow. That is like a mocha ice cream. So delicious. And I was able to get some of the chocolate bits because I think when I pushed the straw down, I got some of the chocolate bits. And what can I say? Everything that I make is delicious. Well, I can only say that, but you have to try it for yourself. White chocolate mochaccino using freshly brewed espresso. Once again, if you have any questions, comment below. Like and subscribe. I'll see you again in my next video. Thank you for watching and ciao for now.